Hey guys, Matt here. Today we're going to do things a little bit differently. In my last video, several of you said that the music was annoying, you didn't really care for it, so today you get to listen to me talk. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll let you decide which you prefer, and you can leave your comments in the comment section below. So today we're going to be talking about the new Elegoo Plastic Resin Vat. Um, Elegoo has been so kind as to send me a preview before these go on sale later this month uh, at the end of September 2019. Uh, I'm not sure how much these will be for sale, but I think that it's somewhere around 30 US dollars, but it's a pack of four. So let's get into this. First off, again, huge shout out to Elegoo for sending me these vats free of charge. And as always, thanks to the Elegoo Mars owners group on Facebook. It's a really great community for owners of the Elegoo Mars and a few other printers to come together, help each other out, and uh, share some tips and tricks. Okay, let's get down and nerdy. So, Elegoo sent me these four plastic resin tanks uh, direct from China. Uh, the box came in relatively good shape. I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, when you open up the box, uh, there's four resin vats inside, uh, sandwiched between two pieces of foam. Uh, and I actually lost one of the pieces of foam for that photo, so I don't know where it's at. It's, it's somewhere. Um, so when you take these out of the box, it'll look like the bottom two photos. Uh, they're just plastic vats. Um, comes with a sticker on top that says not to touch the FEP film uh, and not to use a plastic scraper or anything else on the FEP film. Um, I don't know if it's because the vat's plastic or, or what. Maybe the FEP film is a little bit more sensitive to pressure than normally. Uh, I don't think that there's going to be an issue if you have a print stuck to the bottom of your vat. Uh, I think you're, you can probably still press up from the bottom of the vat in order to release those. This is what it will look like when you open up the top cover of the new plastic vat. You can see that they've changed the design a little bit. Uh, this has to do with how injection molding works. So uh, this is a fairly standard design, I would say, for uh, what you would see in, a, in an injection molded piece. Uh, on the bottom side, you see it ships with a plastic cover on the FEP film uh, to prevent any scratches in handling or shipping. Uh, you can see the plastic ring that goes around the FEP film, and it has screws in those. Uh, my bet is that those are probably self-tapping screws, and so maybe you could replace the FEP film but my bet would be that those holes are going to be damaged by the screws to the point where you could no longer get accurate tension on the FEP film if you replaced it. I went ahead and tossed this into one of my Elegoo Mars printers uh, just to see how it would fit. And you can see it fits very well. It actually fits within the recess of the top plate, uh, just like a normal fat would. Um, unfortunately, I noticed there's a slight uh, warp to these vats and I think that that's probably due to the nature of injection molding a lot of plastics tend to warp a little bit uh, it could also be to the tension on the FEP film that's causing it to warp I'm not sure that this is going to cause any issues in printing I haven't actually tried this so I don't know uh, but I don't think it's going to cause any issues uh, I went ahead and tried the lid from these new plastic vats on the metal vat that shipped with the Elegoo Mars, and it will fit. It's a little bit tight, but it'll fit on there, and that's good news for those of you out there who, uh, you know, you, you want to keep something on top of your vat in order to keep dust and, um, and UV light out. While I was at it, I went ahead and tried it in my Anycubic Photon, and no surprise, it actually fits quite well inside the Anycubic Photon. And um, as a further point, the lid will also fit on the metal vat that comes with the Anycubic Photon. Uh, it'll probably work for other similar printers. I imagine it'll probably work for the Epax X1, for example. Uh, it is important to note, though, that this plastic lid just kind of slides on top. It, 
doesn't actually, it's not tight. So you would obviously not want to turn over your vat. You wouldn't want to jostle it around too much. If it had resin in it, uh, you could still get uh, spills. But it's going to keep dust out. It's going to keep UV light out. And that's really kind of what we're going for here. So quick video. In summary, uh, these are going to be available on Amazon at the end of September. I can't really remember the price. I think it was around 30 US dollars. Um, they're intended to not have to replace the FEP film. Once the FEP film is damaged, you can throw them away and use a new one. Um, major place that I can see this being used is for swapping colors or resin types more easily. Um, I don't think you're going to want to change colors within these vats because of those ribs for the injection molding that I talked about. Uh, I think it's going to be hard to clean, so I don't know that you want to use this for permanent use. Um, as mentioned, this is going to work on the Elegoo Mars and the Anycubic Photon. Probably work on the Epax X1, I don't know. And I haven't really used any of them, so I can't tell you how well they do or don't work. But maybe this will give you an idea if this is something that you want to try to pick up in the future. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy printing, and as always, come back next time.